All right, we're here. Ben Spay and Neuter Project. Gonna take Nora in, see what goes on. Just passed a police officer all by myself in a parking lot. There's still studs making noise, no brake lights, no driver's license, no insurance. Made my heart beat real fast. But uh, he just smiled and drove on by. I sat real still, didn't move in front of him. Sat at a stop sign, didn't roll. He didn't look back and see no brake lights. So I guess we're good. Anyways, let's go see what's going on with Nora. Nora, leave her alone. She's got out the paper. The upper respiratory system, standard freeway shot, and all that. Good cats, everywhere. Come here, baby. For the mother, we need to put the mother in the middle. Oh, you see other cats. Come here. You're okay. Little cats everywhere, huh? Okay. Nora, come here, baby. Come here. No, oh, come here. She hasn't had her rabies. She's supposed to have her six months. She's had all the other ones that come okay. out. So I guess I answered that question wrong. Oh, no, that's okay. I was thinking rabies shot. So I'll give you a call then between um, noon and one, and just let you know how she's doing and give okay. you an idea of what time she'll be ready to go. Um, they'll probably be around two-ish, I would guess. You guys might know that. And then if we're not ready to go by two, we're here to my sister's going to off at once. So she's going to help me make, get her into the house and whatnot. So it'll probably be... It'll be before five for sure, so the last time after two. Yep. Okay. Fine. I'll just call you and let you know how she's doing and you guys can pick her up whenever. All right. You're all set. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. On our way to be in spade. The little house. They were going to keep Laura in the laundry room until Nora in the laundry room until surgery. Nice people. I'm I'm confident. I don't know, it's just a spay, right? I need to relax. Not that big of a deal. I'm gonna run to Fred Myers and get some ground beef. And I don't know what else. Maybe something else. Isn't this your favorite view when I set the camera on my lap and just look up my nose? Alright, I gotta get going. Let's see if there's any studs to pull. Alright, all you old folks, young folks, smart folks will be proud of me because I decided not to drive into town and go to the grocery store after dropping off the dog. I came straight home to avoid being in traffic too long because if I got pulled over, I would probably, well, I don't know what would happen, but it wouldn't be fun. I gotta show you guys, there's this whole family of quail. See them through there? There's one up on the fence, up, two up on the fence, three up on the fence, four. Oh, there goes that guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all those quail. Mora would be loving it right now. 
having a good time driving this old car. Uh, it's fun to drive. That's why I want an old sailboat someday. I've already had one old sailboat, but I want another old sailboat when I make it down to Florida, because it's fun. It's just like, I don't know what it is about an old, it's got lots of problems. It takes lots of work. They're easier to work on. They're simpler. People were less complicated back in the 60s, 70s when they were making these cars. So there's less to deal with. But they're worthy. You know, they've been around. They've done their duty. They're worthy. They're ready to go. All in all, they're going to get the job done. So yeah, that's the way. I, and they're fun to drive. They look better. I don't know why. Guess I'm just kind of nostalgic that way. I was really excited after yesterday's videos. I, uh, you can tell I'm a little tired because I didn't sleep. I was so excited. But I felt like this thing might actually work out and uh, I might be able to make some interesting film. I'm not trying to, uh, like today, I took the dog to Ben's Spay and Neuter. I've already, I've already mentioned that, that place. I don't want to become the guy that plugs things or the guy that advertises things or tells you what's good or isn't. I just want to, uh, to share my experience, to give you an idea of what someone else is going through during the day. Um, and, you know, it's, it, uh, it's like that reality TV that we've been watching forever, but this is, <coughs> hopefully I can avoid trying to do things just for the camera, hopefully I just you used to having the camera around and do things as I normally would do because I think that's going to be the most interesting and then I'll go back through the editing will be where I get to play artist producer developer designer whatever you want to label it and that's where I think the value will come in I think I don't want to I don't want me just being me. Well, it is entertaining. I don't know why. But everybody's entertaining. They just don't... Maybe it's just the fact that I'm willing to put myself on camera. In a non-obtrusive way. Going to pick up Nora. My sister's going to take me. So that I don't have to drive illegally. <coughs> Getting close to being legal. Finally got my California driver's license number. Yeah, so anyways, we're going to go pick up more right now. We'll see what Lauren thinks about YouTube and being on a camera. Probably won't put her on. She's too cute. You all ready to be on camera today? Why am I going to be on camera today? Because we're going to pick up Nora and I'm filming it. Why? Because I, I film everything I do now. Because you're going to tell your story? Yeah. I have a feeling I'm already on camera right now. You're not. Only me. See? I don't think I'm going to put you on camera, actually. Because <laughs> of my wonderful comments? Because you're too cute. And I can't put... I'll make you the big bucks. I can't... Exactly. I can't <laughs> put my gorgeous little sister on camera. Because then I would question whether or not anybody was really watching me. Ah, uh, they're not. This is going to be fun. Lauren's the world's best driver ever. It's a hot day. I just told everybody about your awesome driving skills. Well, I'm about to prove it right now. Let's start with finding my keys. I read up on it. It's a good clinic. They're just working out of a house. I gotta go get my keys. Okay. No, they're in the ignition. Oh. I told you how good of a driver she was. I know. I'm just prepared. <laughs>